using shared storage is really the first step towards a more streamlined post-production workflow. But when you first make the switch from direct attached drives or a generic RAID to a server, you're solving one problem but creating another. Everything's in one place, but it's impossible to find what you're looking for. And you're no longer shuttling drives around the office, but it can still take far too long to find a specific shot or to find an old project or to just find a specific file that's somewhere in this mess. All you have is the drives on your desktop and 1500 finder windows, and you can't search across all of these things at once. You can't see what's available offline, and there's almost no way to tell what's what. That's why we created Share Browser. In a nutshell, Share Browser is easy to use like Finder and Explorer, but built for your network. It gives you a 360 degree view of all of your media assets, projects, and storage devices so that all of your files are only ever two clicks away. And instead of including Share Browser as an add-on that you pay for per user, we've built it directly into all of our Evo shared storage systems and all of the software that you're about to see is included no matter how many users you have in your facility. So I'm quickly going to go over the basic functionality of Share Browser and then we'll start getting into exactly what this means in the context of your Adobe workflow. So you can see here in this left-hand column that Share Browser is currently showing only my Evo storage volumes. And these can really be set up any way you like depending on your workflow. But right now we're primarily gonna work with a single SMB volume called Media. But Share Browser can also be set to show everything else on your network. So you can see here, I have the same Evo volumes as before, but now I can see my cloud sync folders. I can see my local hard drive. I can see an old network share that we use here around the office for scanned documents. And I can even see external drives that are connected to my workstation. The goal with Share Browser, again, is to make sure that all of your media is only ever two clicks away. And in the case of an external drive or a camera card that's been indexed by Share Browser, you can quickly figure out which drive you need to hunt down, even if it's not currently plugged in. At the heart of Share Browser is its powerful search capability that allows everyone on your team to easily find assets using custom tags and comments. Also by using file names, codecs, frame rates, and other metadata attributes. So for example, let's say I'm working on a nature show. And the scene I'm working on is all about water. Now for the purpose of this demo, I've already gone ahead and tagged some of these clips, which we'll get into a bit more later. But all I need to do to get started on my episode is search for all of the shots tagged with water. I get all of these returns. I can see where the file is located, where the search term was found, what other tags are present. But let's say I really wanna narrow this down a bit and I wanna see only shots of rivers. So I just click right here and I'll add the word river. That's perfect. So this search is even looking at external drives, local workstations, and basically anywhere else on the network that a file might be hiding. So let's say you've forgotten to ingest a folder from a drive. As long as it's been indexed by Share Browser, you can find it even after it's been unplugged and put back on the shelf. And one of the other great things about Share Browser is that it's integrated directly into Evo, like I said at the beginning. That really opens up a lot of possibilities for interaction between the storage and the metadata that just aren't possible with other systems. That's a great question. Um, for people who are used to doing asset management by OS, we really set out to design a MAM that was immediately familiar and as easy to use as the Finder or Explorer windows that they're familiar with. We noticed that there was a really big gap in the market between asset management by OS, as you put it, and other exhaustingly complex asset management solutions. But aside from the basic search, tag, and preview, Share Browser also integrates with your cloud services like Dropbox, Adobe Creative Cloud, and many others. It can also streamline review and approval. It has built-in data security verification features. Uh, it has the option to import and export XML files. There are direct integrations with Premiere Pro, Final Cut 10, Resolve, Media Composer, New Tech NDI, Storage DNA, and others. And there are a ton of features included with Share Browser. And again, all of them are included free for unlimited users with every Evo system. Outside of Share Browser, Evo also has a great set of tools called Slingshot that help you automate certain steps in your workflow. For instance, when files are ingested, you can kick off alerts to team members when they arrive, whether they're coming from external drives from the field, whether they're coming from Aspera, or whether you're capturing SDI or NDI directly to the system. 
While those files are ingesting, Slingshot can also be used in a number of ways to automatically move files around your network and save you time on the repetitive file management tasks in your day to day. So let's talk a little bit more about how Evo can help you save time during ingest. You know, one of the problems in a shared storage environment is that when you're copying files to a server, it wants to use up as much bandwidth as possible until that copy is finished. If I have a project going on and I need to work while I'm ingesting footage, instead of taking an extended coffee break, I'll just continue to work because Share Browser can automatically adjust the bandwidth allocation for my file copies, as you can see here. This frees up system resources so that the team can keep working while we're ingesting and we can keep the creative juices flowing without having to slow down every time we need to move something to the server. So once your files are ingested with Share Browser, you now have a couple of ways to start logging and organizing your media. If you're on a workstation with the Share Browser client installed, you can use the app here and just start logging. One of the ways I like to do this is by starting at the folder level and adding basic high-level information about the show. Now, since we know that this is for a show called Nature, and this is episode one of season one, I'll go ahead and tag this entire project with that info. Now, throughout this entire project's life cycle, we can easily identify all of the project files, the production documents, and other assets that are part of season one, episode one, and I can take that same logic and apply it to the camera, the card numbers, and so on. This metadata can later be used inside of Premiere to easily create bins based on this metadata. And I'll show you that in just a second. But let's say things uh, are really busy at our shop and we're bringing in an intern to log clips and we don't necessarily need them to have access to the full Share Browser app. We can, from a laptop or any device on the network, access Share Browser all through an HTML5 web app, which is really cool. So let's log into the web app. Once you're here, you can search, tag, comment, and preview everything on your storage just like you can in the client from the comfort of your web browser. For example, an AE or an intern can use the web app to log all of our dailies to create organized bins based on scene number, location, show, or anything else. Honestly, the possibilities here are endless and it's really up to you to decide what kind of metadata you want and how you want to use it throughout your workflow. In the Share Browser web app, you can also utilize some very cool AI features that will let you automate the majority of your logging. All you need to do is click this button and Share Browser will have all of your files analyzed for objects, scene, and activities and will automatically populate these descriptions in the tags field, drastically cutting down on the time it would take to say log an entire day's worth of shooting or catalog an entire archive of old project media and B-roll, which is something a lot of people run into when they first make the switch to using shared storage and media asset management software. And we are super excited about the potential of these cognitive services in both post and live production environments. And one of the things that we're really proud of is that Evo is designed to work with all sorts of third-party hardware and software. And we're constantly expanding. And with our full API, Customers and other developers can build their own scripts and integrations to take full advantage of Evo's open architecture. And one of the many benefits of working with a full service integrator like the fine people at Keycode Media is that they can work with our API as well in order to build out some custom integrations specifically for your environment. Right now we're working with Amazon for object, scene, and activity recognition. And these tags are immensely valuable for getting 90% or more of your logging out of the way completely automatically. In creative editorial, the types of tags generated by uh, this object scene and activity recognition are extremely helpful when working on documentary style content like I'm demoing here. As we expand into more specific visual recognition like brands and faces and things like transcription, it'll open up even more potential in the creative side of editorial, especially in narrative and reality workflows. So let's see how all of this stuff translates into your Premiere workflow. Once I've logged all of these clips manually or with AI, I can simply select all of them, add them to a bin, and our editor can just hop over to that bin and export everything directly into Premiere. Now, once you're in Premiere, all of your tags and comments are available right next to your files, right where you need them so that while you're in a project, you can easily navigate to a specific clip based on a comment 
or the tags that we added in Share Browser. You can also use something called search bins here, which I love, and they will automatically create bins based on the metadata that you've added. So you can use that to quickly organize your clips by scene, location, by the camera, or any of the other tags that you've logged in Share Browser. And these can be specific things about people in the scene or really anything that you can come up with. So to further improve cross-team collaboration, you can still use Evo project locking to enable multiple users to securely share projects for After Effects, Photoshop, even Illustrator without any issues. You can see that when I open a Photoshop PSD or when I open an Illustrator file here on this share, it creates a green write lock which indicates that my user, Andrew, has write access to these files. Anyone else on the network using Evo would be able to see both in Share Browser and on the operating system level in Finder or Explorer that those files are locked by my user. So that's just another way that Share Browser increases collaboration in a shared environment. Another way that Share Browser improves collaboration is by streamlining internal review and approval. You can use Share Browser's metadata fields to tag files as ready for review, and then when someone comes in to review them, all they have to do is enter in a quick ready for review or ready for approval, and they'll get a list of everything that's ready for approval. And it's also important to note that Evo isn't just integrated with Premiere. The same workflow features that we just covered are also available for Final Cut Pro 10, for DaVinci Resolve Studio 15, and with Evo, you're never really limited to a single application. And we want to make sure that your metadata and your media is useful across multiple platforms. And that's kind of the basic high-level overview of the Evo workflow with Premiere. But so far, all we've really talked about is the way that the software improves your Premiere workflow. The hardware is really equally as essential. Having all of your media logged and organized is great, but it's useless without a server that can't support high bandwidth editing for multiple users. Evo gives you both. With Evo, you get the highest performance per disk available on the market, at more than 70% higher than other systems. It gives you integrated media asset management, automation tools, and also it gives you one of the most dynamic and flexible hardware systems available. So before we go, I just want to cover what kind of Evo systems are available. You can see here that there are multiple kinds of Evo. Evo systems are available for teams of all sizes and capacities that range from under 40 terabytes all the way up to multiple petabytes. And we also offer a variety of different form factors and configurations that are suited for any environment, whether that's a one to two person startup a corporate in-house team, a small creative agency, or a massive media network. We have systems specifically for broadcast, um, for high-end post and VFX and color grading. And we really believe that all creative teams should have access to the latest shared storage and workflow tools, regardless of their size. So we make sure that our systems are just customizable enough for about any workflow there is. And if you really want to dig deeper into how Evo and Share Browser can work for your team, give us or Keycode Media a call and we can set up a more personalized demo to show you exactly how Evo and Share Browser will work for you.